This Thursday, a group of needleworkers will be making their journey to Muncaster Castle to view some special cruel work embroideries. We're very much looking forward to greeting some experts from around the world to come and uh, hopefully be in awe of some of the treasures we have within the castle. The Pennington family lived here for over 800 years, which has meant we've, we've been lucky enough to hold this beautiful place for centuries and also be able to put together an amazing collection of artistic items from around the world. We'd love to have more access to many of these items, which by their very nature are fairly fragile and delicate. So a lot of our work is actually trying to conserve them and keep them well protected. But what we do like is getting them out and showing them off and enjoying them with people. The visitors will be part of a team that has been working to bring the old and delicate cruel work bed hangings to the masses. What we're really excited about is that we have, in partnership, developed a cruel work kit. So uh, people today can practice this technique that known by the ancestors for hundreds and hundreds of years and do it for themselves in their own home so everyone can join in, everyone can participate. And of course, you can do your own cruel work and uh, it can decorate your bedroom or your, your home for many generations to come. The team reproducing the cruel work pieces are based in Appleby, but the piece itself has been made by an American friend. The word cruel is an ancient word, it's Saxon or Norman French, depending on who you believe, and it means a twisted piece from the back end of a, of, of a sheep, where the, the staples are quite long, and uh, that's embroidered onto linen twill. I wanted to learn how to do this because my grandmother's British, and I wanted to learn the kind of embroidery that she did when she lived here. And I couldn't find anybody in America, so I found Philippa and came over, and I had not stitched a stitch of cruel work when I first met her 10 years ago. And she taught me the way I wanted to be taught, that is to do it correctly, and it's been a wonderful experience. The team will be viewing the original pieces on Thursday to colour match the reproduction and check their accuracy. The original piece I studied for a very long time and I uh, studied it uh, and compared it with other pieces in museums to get the colours exactly right and uh, to have the dyes and the colours and the features of the era correct. And um, then we traced it out on acetate and drew it out and then I drew it out onto the linen and um, sent it to Harriet with a stitch chart, which we created from our team here with the Cruel Work Company. And so I would communicate with her, checking everything to make sure all the stitches were accurate and correct. And some of them have never been, like the squirrel's tail has never been no, it seen me, before. No, it took me about 15 years right. to work out, so it was actually quite simple. And they believe that reproducing the piece through a kit is a way of understanding the craftsmanship more. Oh gosh, it's just such a privilege to have, you know, access that close to something that is so old and so beautiful. And when you stitch it, you really understand how it's made and um, how the colors are used. And you learn about, you know, you learn about their life, really, because when I'm stitching quietly in my sewing room, I feel often like I'm transported to Moncaster Castle. And it's been cool to feel feel like I'm in England when I'm actually in a very hot, <laughs> sunny climate. So In Memphis. In Memphis, right. <laughs> yes, it's right. A, couldn't be more different, right, really. Exactly. Um, which is on these pieces in these big hangings. They're such fantastic scale that everybody actually has an in, don't they? Yeah. People either like the oak leaves, which is very... Or the vines. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. But the parrot, you love the parrot. I do. I, I, the parrot. I, like, I like the little rabbits along the bottom mm -hmm. with the strawberries, mm -hmm. and they were very padded. And it's very 3D and it's, it's, um, it's a very approachable type of needlework. It's not so minute that you can't see it. The reproduction of the cruel work hangings may be entirely new, but each individual one will have a thread of heritage generations long woven into the fabric. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.